hello, hello, hello. This is your message from the universe for January 16th, 2021. This is the rune Odin. Odin is the blank rune. Blank is the beginning. Blank is the end. It's the unknowable. And this is the rune Algees. Now, Algees is the rune of protection, but in this reading, it is reversed. Let me tell you, this is a weird reading, y'all. Right off the bat, this is a weird reading. I have a certain pattern that I do. I have a certain routine, ritual, whatever you want to call it, in the way that I pull these and the way that I pull the cards and the way that it all comes together. It's not like it's anything special. It's just the way that the universe kind of directed me to do it. And so today I pulled out this one as I, I pulled the rune. I always pull the rune after I pull these and then I pull the rune. And uh, then I grab this deck and I do, you know, the shuffles. And then I do, you know, those kind of shuffles. And I must have done that for, gosh, two minutes, three minutes with nothing flipping. Nothing. And I was like, uh, what's going on here? So then I, I asked, did I pull the wrong rune? And I got the answer, no. But you need to pull a second one. And I was like, um, okay. So then the one that came out was the unknowable. Then I'm like, okay, now I'm really confused. But as soon as I set that down and pick up, picked up the deck again, this Four of Swords flipped over super strong. Four of Swords is like exhaustion, uh, stagnation, burnout. I can't do this anymore. I'm so tired of this. Now, this algae's when it's reversed like this, it doesn't mean that you're not protected. It means that you need to be very aware, like check your six, that the people around you may not have your best interests in mind, that you may know that some of these people are a little bit shady or that they gaslight you. You may not quite be aware, but you might think that something is off. This reading, though, doesn't say kick those people out of your life and move on. It kind of says lay low. Lay low for a minute and shift your perspective. Oh, I got these mixed up. Shift your perspective on those people. Because sometimes the people that do this, they're not doing it because they're horrible people. They're doing it because of wounds that they have. Sometimes it's better for us to just play the fool and look the other way. Like if it's your grandma who makes side comments or whatever... But you love your grandma and you don't want to get rid of her, but you also get hurt by her a lot. It's kind of about having that strength, having that strength to shift your perspective on it, having that strength to close your mouth, even though we have this strength card with the mouth wide open as if it is speaking truth. To me, that strength card is open and it is silent. It's not a roar in this reading. In this reading, it is, I get it, like I know that somebody's pulling my leg or I know that somebody's not quite treating me right, but it's okay. It's all right because I know about it. See, when you know about these things, you get to react differently. When you tap into your emotions differently and shift your perspective on how that person is treating you, you're really able to change the whole situation because... Grandma comes from a di very different time than you. And so to her, she says these things to be motivational, to try to help you or to try to help you or to try to save you or to try to change your behavior, right? And it doesn't mean get rid of grandma and never talk to her again. But we do have to learn to work with these things. We do have to learn to work with our emotions and to know when to speak and when to play the fool, when to make the leap. And when to wait. This fool card often speaks about taking a leap of faith. But it also speaks about playing the fool when you aren't really the fool. Like playing possum a little bit. This act of changing your perspective is going to accelerate your growth. Recognizing that you can have relationships in your life that may not be so great. It's all about how we perceive them. Now, this is not every relationship, obviously, but for a lot of us, if we figure out that our friend lies about stuff a lot, but we love them, we may be okay. 
Like we might just kind of go, well, I'm going to take everything they say with a grain of salt. I know that they're a little bit, you know, they lie about things, but that's because that was the only way for them to not get beat when they were a child. So I'm just going to be more careful with the way that I uh, interact with them. This shift will actually accelerate your spiritual growth. And it seems like, why would it do that? I'm pretending right along with them, or I'm allowing them to lie to me and make a fool out of me. For some of us, our pride is what makes us feel, oh, they're making a fool out of me. Who cares? Who cares if they're making a fool out of you? Who cares if they're lying to you? Why do you have to be the bringer of truth? Why do you have to be the one to point out their flaws? Sometimes the people around us, their flaws reflect something in us. And that's not to say, oh, they're lying, so you're a liar too. But what that does mean is that maybe you're not always straight with the truth. Or maybe you have a weakness for people who lie and you believe them and buy into it every time. You can have all kinds of different relationships with people. They don't all have to be at the same depth and they don't all have to be at the same level of acceptance. You can, it's like work friends. You have people that you work with that you have to work with and you don't have a choice. So when they act up, you still have to kind of like, okay, when they say that they took out the garbage, but you know that you did, you might have to, mm, okay. Now, if you attack them every time they, they lie or something, you're probably not going to have your job for very long, right? We have to learn to get along with people. We have to learn to work with them. And that's not to say you should accept nonsense in your life, but sometimes we have to accept nonsense in our life because if we know it's not nonsense, if we know that it's garbage, if we know that the way that, that it doesn't have any effect on us, then what's the difference? Why does it matter if your friend is telling you that she's a Kung Fu master or that, that he's got a million dollars in the bank and you know that that's a lie? Why call them out? Why hurt their feelings? Why put them on the spot? Now, you might want to reconsider personally whether you want to continue to be friends with them. But it's really about our perception of those things, about how we see them. It's about how we view what they've been saying, what they've been doing that makes it good or bad, that makes it hurtful or not hurtful. Sometimes we can just shift the way that we receive something and it changes the entire thing and now it's not a trigger for us anymore. That is what accelerates our growth. It's not easy, but I know you got this. You are beloved, you matter, and you are so very loved.